Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk about InfoPath some more today. Uh, in the last training we left off at building this basic form. right? Uh, today we're going to talk about submitting and um, publishing to a SharePoint library. A form, in order to be able to in order for the users to be able to access it, it needs to be published to a location accessible by the users, right? So either by a this list email, send it to the user so they can uh, fill in the data and submit it back, or to a SharePoint server if one is available, or to a network location available for all the users. Today we're going to talk about uh, submitting to a SharePoint server, right, and publishing to that server. Before publishing the form to a library, you need to create a submit connection. So this form needs to be equipped with a data connection, a submit connection that the users can. Uh, when the users click submit, it's, it will use that data connection to actually submit the, um, the data in the form, right? To create that, you go to data, submit, submit options, click allow users to submit this form, you choose SharePoint document library, as we said, and you click add to add a connection. Right? It's gonna be HTTP uh, SharePoint server, which is the name of your SharePoint server, .domain.com uh, slash, I don't know, my library. This is going to be the name of the library, either pre-created or you can create it when you uh, submit this form. And the file name, the file name, I usually make it a function. This is why I said in the last post that all the fields should have a, a meaningful name because you can use them over here, so let's create a concatenation function. So concat, and let's do last name, first name, and hardware requested, right? Verify, everything looks good. Okay. So now, every single time a user submits a form, the form is going to be deposited in the library with uh, a name that's going to be form out of his last name, his first name, and the hardware he's requesting it, right? So you can actually look at your SharePoint library and see right away all the submitted documents by last name or by the hardware requests or however you want to arrange it, right? Let's click next. Well, of course, the SharePoint library doesn't exist, but uh, you understand what I'm saying, okay? So you created, um, you create after you click next, it's going to come with finish if uh, this is actually valid. You just click finish and everything is done. All right. If you click on advance over here, you're going to see that you can set up messages for when the form is submitted, if the form is submitted successfully or not. Right. So if the submission failed, you can change this for to, I don't know, uh, contact help desk, for example. The form did not submit it. Did not submit. Or something like that, whatever you want to put in. Okay. After submit, you can close the form, open a new form, or leave this one open. Right. Okay, let's cancel this one. So we created the submit option. Now we need to uh, publish the form, right? To you're gonna publish the form as we said today to a SharePoint server. So just click on file and publish your form. Right? You you choose SharePoint server. And uh, it's going to open up a dialog window that will allow you to, to publish it to a SharePoint server. Right. It's going to be basically the same thing. You choose a SharePoint server, uh, the library that from that SharePoint server you wanna you wanna publish it to. So it's kind of the same. HTTP. I don't know. Uh, SharePoint server. Domain.com slash my library. Right? Just click next. It's going to ask you um, if you want to choose any of the fields to to actually uh, transform them in active content to promote them to that SharePoint server. You would promote one of the fields if you want to use them in a workflow, which uh, about which we're going to speak later on. But if if you don't want to use it, just don't promote it. You can do that later later on. 
So on this one, just click next. It's going to ask you what library you want to promote it to, or if you want to create a new one, you can create a new library, uh, proven that you have the necessary permissions, and just click finish, and the form will publish. When you publish this form, this form will become the template form for that specific library. So every single time a user connects to that library and clicks on uh, new data or new form, um, this blank form is going to open so he can actually uh, fill in the data and submit it. Right? Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and uh, don't forget to check out our blog watermarked at the bottom of this video.